Oh, we have to re-enter the time again. Yes, and it's so what time? It's almost the same. Yeah, it's like what four minute difference than last time. It's it was, a.m. You got to go around. You realize it was like three twenty something last time. It was. Time. Yeah. Oh. Because I got home later yesterday. I thought it was like five minutes or something. Yeah. Are we good with that time? It's. I mean, sure. Cool. Why not? Three fourteen. Three thirteen and a half. Yes. Maybe. Hang on, hang on. Okay, we're hanging on. Before we get started, can I just say something? Sure. Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you booted up the game. Okay. A lot of people don't take that step seriously. They just leave the clock set at 12 and call it a day. Okay. But you, you are actually taking time to set the clock, and I appreciate that. You're welcome. That's how I know you care about this experience. You're paying attention. I am indeed. I don't even have any working... Wait, who no, have any way of knowing if that time you're setting is correct? Words are hard. Tell you what! I'll make you a deal. Okay. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see this screen, set the clock to your favorite time. Two o'clock in the afternoon. Got it. Go ahead, pick whichever time you want, even if it's not the correct time. You earned it. Aww. Champ. Alright, well, let's get back to the video game now. So welcome back! I like that little... Yeah. Easter egg, that's cool. So... I care about my experience. Yeah. So we did all the left door endings. So today we're going to do all the right door endings. We're going to be my complete phone. jerkwads. I have my phone to help us out with the different endings. You can skip this. This is the same thing that we saw last time. Um, you want to turn it up just a smidge? Yeah. Well, that was kind of quiet. That was a little quiet, I'll, I'll admit. Welcome back! Hey, thank you! Quit the game and start it again. Oh. Sounds good. What did it mean? Oh, that's what could it mean? decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he has simply missed a memo. Yeah, that, that's it. Uh, we just missed a memo. We just missed a memo. We, we just gotta go to the... Yeah. yeah. Go to the meeting room. Exactly. Just gotta go to the we will do new content later. We gotta get all the old content before we do the new content. So enticing, though. Yeah, ain't it, though? Uh, Alright, mm. you enter the door on your Wait, left. Wait, but uh, where's the meeting room? It's on the right, right? Yeah, uh, I think he said the left. Do I actually go to the left? No, you go to the right. Uh, I was like, oh! <laughs> this was not the correct way to the meeting room. And standing the perfectly well. Yep. Perhaps it's alright, mate. By the employee lounge that's all it was. Just to of course. Dude, that's yeah, a, I mean, a pretty dude, good employee lounge. Look, look at this lounge! Now that is an ending if you want to go that way. Really? Do you want to, or do you want to go on your own way and then I'll lead you us I'll lead you in other directions? Let's go our own way. Okay. I feel like that's more fun. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Incredible. Yeah, that seems safe. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. He's not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else could be difficult, but the fact is that the story is nothing in? but You gotta wait if you are. You gotta wait until that's parallel if you want to jump someone in. Someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Ah! Oh! I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Yes! And myself, apparently! <laughs> you almost fell your dead. What? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you something beautiful. Why? Let me prove it. Let him prove, Let me prove it. Prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. You get one chance. Okay. I will follow this one direction. No bucket. Okay. Wait, no bucket? Yeah. So there's a sign that says like no buckets. Ah! Oh, okay, close. There's a sign that said no buckets past this point. Darn! I wish I grabbed the bucket. Now listen carefully. This okay. is important. This is important. Okay. Stanley walked through the red door. I promised I'd give him one chance. Well, you don't have to. You can deter him. Yeah, screw that. that. <laughs> you'll, get, you'll get his chance like... Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. This is red. Yep. I still don't 
Listen to him again, or do you want to go through the third door? I kind of want to go through the third door. Okay, go through the third door. Okay, go through the third well, Let's see what designs he had. Oh, I already like it. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this version. <laughs> Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Five being, like, excellent, and then one being awful. critical feedback here. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Clearly there's something... I felt like the third choice was enticing. Hey, it was a good stab in the dark. So let's keep this party train going. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I compiled a new version. And in perfect candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Yeah, let's take a look. Oh. The Stanley Parable, worldwide leaderboard. In total, 91,729 doors open, blah, 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 blah. Where are we? Oh. We are 9,328. How long did it take you to get to the correct door? Okay. Okay, cool. Error, friend, let's see him see. Darn right. Okay. I would have actually been kind of scared if, like, they've actually pulled up my friend list on my Xbox. I've been like, oh. A dead rat is offline. And they're better than us. This is your superior. Alright. Let's, let's leave here. Okay. Third door again, I guess? It really doesn't matter. Any door. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. I hate later bird hey, later words. God, I've got a prototype of the new game I've been working on. And I now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. Sure. That's true. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Nah. Not at all. Let me boot it up. Yeah. All right. Well. He has to boot it up, man. Ah, this is the game. He crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful thing. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demand. Is this an ending? About to maybe accidentally. Yeah. But it's also an ending if you keep moving. Yeah, four hours. This is the two-hour one. Just play it for a couple minutes. Why does this take four hours? Is this a punishment? <laughs> yes. No, this is a new game that he's been testing. Four Bro. hours of content. How does this get harder? Well, see, eventually there's a dog on the right, or on the left, and he goes to the right, and you have to keep him from not... Baby from the fire, and dog from the whatever. I forgot what it is. If you want to let him in, you can let him in. Yeah. Sorry, baby. Oh, he's fine. You heartless bastard. 
monster. He's fireproof. You did it because you hate babies, <laughs> don't me. I did it because I didn't want to see her for four hours. Make it like a ten minute game at most. I'm done. I'm done. It's over. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Well, oh, hey, since my game is so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Oh, I love this is possibly one of my favorite endings. Yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. I'm just saying, I didn't want to sit there for four hours. Aha, uh -huh. fascinating. What do you think this game is about? Firewatch. What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. But it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man, spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creek time. Don't think so. Perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Don't think so. Hmm. Yes, that must be. No, what a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Yes, let's see what else is out there. Thank you, opening door. I can't jump. Of course not. It's the Stanley Parable. You're not allowed to jump. Jump off just to spite narrator. Huh. Guys. No, 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 just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You could just go in any. Oh, oh, oh thank heavens we avoided it. The other woods now standing. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. How many games are we going to be trying to jump through? Something a few. nice, big, insurmountable walls. Is he that <laughs> angry that I accident like that I just let the baby die? Yeah, you hate his game. Bro, it's four hours long. <laughs> four I ain't got time for that. Some games have four hours of content. You love it. Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I'm, I'm clicking a button a nice for four hours. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Can't get lost now, here. This is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Is that a challenge? Okay, so what exactly? we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. But here I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is mm -hmm. this game sports It ball? is sports ball. Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. Sports. We should run the bases and do a touchdown together. <laughs> yes, I think surely we must. Yes. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. <laughs> ah! Go score it! Score my the sports ball! My spine! Hey, you're soon. Are you doing it? Is this fun? Is this fun, Andrew? Actually, yeah. Wait, what is it? Is it better than this world? Oh yeah, of course. But if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes Just don't fall in the goal, because that is something that can happen. Which leads to another ending, but I want to save that ending. If you would rather score another ball, because so you can just straight shot. It. More balls! More balls. Ah! ah! Oh, you got it! Oh, you got it! Oh, wait, dude, what was going in? You got this. You can't mess it up. Are you gonna get two for one? Yes! I sure hope you're having a good time because guess what? It's over. That's right. Your oh. fun comes to an end. This is my game. Yeah. And what I say goes. You get to have fun when I let you stand there. Besides, you need someone like me to set boundaries for you. Without oh. rules or boundaries, video games are nothing. Yes, that's what I am. I'm structure. I'm your sense of purpose. And 
since you decided you didn't want to play my game, now I don't want to play with you either. So goodbye, Stanley. Bro. I'm leaving. See how you like it when I run around to set the rules. Somehow, I don't think you'll enjoy it as much. But who knows? You're an inventive kid. You'll come up with something. After all, you're the one who knows best. Take care, Oh, Stanley. don't drop in. I was just agreeing with the narrator. So now what do we do? Well, let me consult the guide. Because I know there's one ending we can get here, but I thought there was another one. I mean, I'm just saying... It's food for thought. Maybe he should make better games. Oh no, you do have to fall. Sorry, my bad. I thought we could do something else. Whoopsies. I was reading a different ending. That's that my bad. Cheer. So narrator, you said you'd be surprised so I got lost. What if I do this? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> Getting lost? I thought you didn't care. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How would you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Maybe. Wow. Didn't realize that was. Hello? Hello. It's an open door. Lots of walk right through it. Sounds good. Alex gave me a look. Like I did something. I didn't know you could fall after that. That was my. That was the look I gave you. Oh. I thought it was. I can't believe he did. He was that dumb. Well, a little bit. I mean, I didn't see the gigantic gaping hole. It was all dark. I don't have night vision. Night vision would be pretty cool though. That would be pretty cool. I would definitely enjoy that. Ooh, lights! Hey. Wait. What's that? A computer? Multiple computers. At least multiple monitors. Yeah, of course it's not coming at me. It's teasing me. It's something I know. I know how to push buttons. Yes. We do know how to do that. Oh. This is the room. That was a window, I guess. Oh. Push the buttons! Uh, let's see. Narrator said he can't follow us here. Does that mean we're free of his tyranny? Not exactly. I'm sure he'll find us. Oh. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. Are you happy with your choice? And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. You'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. But the end is never the end is never the end. Right? It's one of your endings. Cool. What was that ending called? I'm so glad you asked. It was called... Hold on. The game's ending. Because you had different games you played. All, this could work as we've gone. All right, back through the right door. What's your next course of action? I'm going to take the right door, admire the immaculate office, go with the new content. <laughs> if you did that, I'd be so angry with you. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room. Wait up. All right, right. So what are you going to do now? Stop by the employee lounge first. Just to it. You're gonna walk through the red no, door. I'm gonna walk through the first open door. Oh, first open door on the left. Okay. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible <laughs> even to consider. Yep. Sounds about right. Yep. All right. Eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door. Take that.
that left door. I'm going to do that. What's that elevator? I think that's the way we need to go, right? Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, take that elevator. So that would lead back to the main story. Yeah, that's like a course correction, and then you'll go back to the, all the endings we did. Sorry, narrator. I like this idea more. It's a lot more fun. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. No! He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. Why would I want to consult my boss? He needed to go and... Um, Right door's not open. Oh, oh no. No, it's to the right by mistake. Classic mistake. He's on the map upside down. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly Oh dear, hold on for a minute. Let's see. Right, left, down, left, right. Yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely, this way. <laughs> it's up in the garage. Oh, there's a little door right there. No, 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 This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, okay, okay. It doesn't make back to, um... Story completely unusable. How am I, rather than waste my time trying to solve it, this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. What this time? Suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. That's an ending. Nope, not yet. I don't think so. I woke up in my office. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided. Yeah, to not an ending change. yet. I just had to double check. See, now the new content's gone. Uh, when it usually is there. Uh, You'll get it later. You stole my content! Hold on, I might be. When Stanley... Wait, wait, what? No, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere, or... I'm asking you. I'm the one who wrote the story. Yeah. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's... All the doors are open. You get to pick your path. Oh. You, I think they're all connected in some way. So many choices. I like this door. Okay. This door looks nice. Cool. Yeah, I was going to say, those two are just connected straight up. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you, there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? No. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's going to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why he'll, he'll restart what? it for you. Don't worry. He's got you. Still not the ending. You get one more try. Or two more tries. Can't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Just missed a memo. Yeah, of course. So uh, let's try and head to the meeting room this time. That might solve the issue. Okay, yeah. It's worse. <laughs> I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other yeah. direction? Yeah. You missed probably just missed something. So go backwards. That, that must be it. You just missed something. Yeah. I don't remember those doors being there. I'm pretty sure they were there. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. 
the story. They agreed to Charles. No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. You know, I, I, I trust him. him horribly. I trust him. He seems like a he seems like a dapper. <laughs> How's it going? Now this, well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Do you remember the story? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! You win! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so... Good job. I can't tell if he's being sarcastic. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. <laughs> Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. You sure? Okay. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. That's an ending. Not yet. No? The Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Don't get lost. I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. You can't get lost now. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Simple. You remember walking this path? You see, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Yeah. Little thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination? Even if there's no story there. Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving towards it, or implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being by the very manifestation of the nature of life itself. Oh, hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. I'm not sure where I was going with all that. Uh Yes, please. Bro. Just follow the line. <laughs> Andrew remember he remembers walking all this all these paths. Yeah, this is definitely yeah. We're yeah. going to the boss's office, right? And I think that's where we're going. Follow the line! So yeah, that? Follow, follow the line. I don't it's think that I could, easy. I don't think I could follow that line. Oh, there's a Alice. <laughs> yeah, Alice will dance for me. On my behalf. Dude, I don't know where. I have not been. This is a gigantic <laughs> office. I have not yeah. been anywhere. Go back and look at that Wait, go back and look at the fern. Uh, maybe so go back and look at the fern. Alright, let's do that for me. You, oh, you gotta focus a little bit. I've already seen this. It's a fern. Yes. I don't know how a fern could be used. But, like, you know, what color green is it? What shade? How many leaves? I don't know! <laughs> just go along. It's fine. Uh, it means nothing. 42? Oh, uh, line trip, Mark. Oh, yeah. Because that's never gone wrong. How are you liking this ending so far? That is true. Make up your own speech. Sure. sure. Why not? I mean, I've completely now, derailed this, everything. This is exciting. Ain't it, though? me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. You yeah, what do you want the story to be? Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Whatever you want it to be.
to be. No, no, not you again. And I'd also like to beat out the line from having any role in our awesome new story. <laughs> no lines or monitor rules. Just don't acknowledge it. You should be fine. Okay, I will not acknowledge it. Okay. It's gone. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in. Yes. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. Don't squander it. I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. <laughs> okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go. I'm not going to walk in circles. I will spin for him, though. That means here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with a counter inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the white door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Can't be standing. Our destiny awaits. Well, my, cur my curiosity. Can I even? No. Oh. I don't get a choice of this one. Look behind you. What's this? Oh, the confusing ending. You find the confusion ending schedule and area restarts. Fifth restart, area gets all previous restarts. Keep going to the right. Alright, let's start. That's really how all this goes? Maintenance room, my room, area restarts, first restarts, number two doors. I restart again. Am I just supposed to forget? What if I don't want to forget? Mine goes blank simply because it's written here on this yeah, thing. Uh, wall. Well, you consulted me. Why did I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? After a long time, Stanley dies. I don't want it to be. A, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time record stopped. Does that mean that... Did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So... Okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? sure if we're in the destination or the journey, that they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... Oh. Jamie starts automatically. Ah, that was one of the cues. Which means this ending is not over yet. <laughs> Dude, this is like the longest ending ever. <laughs> Bro, I'm sorry for this ending. <laughs> hey, my new content. Oh, uh, just kidding. I guess it is the ending. Okay, good job. You got the ending. The confusion ending. Yeah. Alright. Let's go to the right. You want a really short ending to compensate for that really long ending? Mm -hmm. Alright. Go all the way to the um, warehouse. it about this room that called so deeply and so personally to Stanley. Its grace, its subtle charm. Probably both. No. Stanley knew it was something deeper. Something darker. Coffee. Yes. All right. We move forward. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. But be here to the ah! business. I wanted to hear what you had to say! Yeah. It's not important, I guess. You moved, you moved on. Alright. To the warehouse. This way? Yeah. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fine. Don't get on the lift, fall off. That's an ending. Fall off here? Yeah. Wherever it feels, it feels right. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley left from the platform and plunged to its death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. 
Good job. <laughs> Just thought I'd give you a little compensation there. About like four or five endings left. Stanley for the first time understood true happiness. Then the feeling went away and he felt sad again. Then he came back and lingered for a minute or Hey! Two. Now it's a neat pump there. Just a kind of um, tingle. I want a cold drink. You can't get a cold drink. You have no money. Yes. Alright. Mysteriously vanished. Here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. That's right. It is really worth I it. I kind of wonder if it. You can sit here for a minute, see if he says anything. At this point, Stanley's <laughs> obsession with this room bordered on creepy and affected poorly on his overall <laughs> personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anything else? Done insulting us, narrator, or hey, Alex, it's a leaf. It's gonna be a sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Is that your warning? I think that's his warning. Okay, that's his way of saying. For the past, no. we had enough of the amazing. <laughs> he took the first open door on his left. No. Back to business. All right, there's another really quick ending here. Stanley was so bad. Get on the lift. Fall off immediately. So let's keep going. Yeah. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten up in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do. Stanley left from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. So that was the same ending. Yeah. So I'm gonna get on the to say something different. Could get on the lift and not fall off. quickly. Did I do something wrong? Okay, wait. So it says, uh, but quickly get off the lift. Oh, quickly get off the lift before it takes you. So you get on the lift and then back off the lift. This door is a lot more wide open than it was like a minute ago. Do not be tempted by the new content. It's so enticing! So this is going to be like that boss room ending where I had, like, you know, you walk in, walk off. Kind of like that. Fantastic. I was gonna say I can try it if you want. Just, just to like uh, see if I can get it done. Okay. Stanley felt lightheaded. Butterflies in his stomach. Giddy in a way he had never known before. I love this room for the dialogue. A connection between the two? Could a man love a room? Yes. I mean truly, truly, deeply, madly love. Sure. Alright. Fantastic. Kind of like the boss's room. Blah, 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 here's the door. Yeah. Okay. Really be careful here. So, like, barely step on and then step off and see if that works. Okay, a little more. Nice! It's fine. We will. Or test your luck by jumping to the floor. Done that. You know what? Looking at it now, it's not that far to the bottom floor. I bet you can make it. All right. Quickly get off the lift before it takes you, and then jump off to the floor below. I'm sure you'll survive the jump. Oops. Looks like I was wrong. Clumsy of me. I trusted you. Oh, that was it. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, Don't trust narrators. All right. So. I've died like what four times now. Next, you're going to go on the lift and jump to the take the red door this time. You're going to jump off to that side. Go to the red door. Just a matter of time. It's 3:53. Is that a good time? No. Let's see if there's more. You know, dialogue with your favorite room. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was grand, majestic. Perhaps too majestic. Like a combination of a much smaller version and a much larger version of this exact room. It all made Stanley uncomfortable, and he started to bleed a little. This made him smile. At last, proof that he was human. Well, okay, huh. interesting. It gets weirder and weirder. To business, 
Stanley took the first open door on his left. That Remember, you always took the red door. What? I don't know how to convince you of this. Convince us here with this red door. Look at the sign. See, no buckets past this point. Where's a bucket? There's no bucket here. They just wanted to let you know that there's Bro, I want a, I want a bucket now. Now listen carefully, this is important. Okay. The red door. Through the red door. You mean this door? Dad, the red door, yes. Thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just, I wanted to stop. I would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. I stopped? Yeah. Let me show you. If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. It is very relaxing. Wow. <sighs> okay, well that's nice. Oh! Ooh. He's tapping into my ADHD. <laughs> Hyper focus. All the colors. <laughs> Brother, look at the colors. Uh, this is not fair, narrator. Uh, well, this was nice. We should leave now. Uh, okay, fine. Oh, I can't even better view here. You really do. Good call. Okay, actually. Now they're green instead of blue. Cool. Let's leave. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. No, wait. Where are you going? Wait, I want to. Wait, go back and see if you like. I think he has some dialogue if you keep going in and out. Right. <laughs> Where were we? All right, I get out. <laughs> this isn't an ending, but I love the dialogue here. I think I left him back there. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Yep. Now that's the ending. I have to kill myself again. Yep. <laughs> but bro, the surrealism. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Okay. Oh, no, that's all he says. Oh, just think about it. Well, I thought about it. Yeah. And call me crazy. Yeah. But my brain is telling me, mm -hmm. after seeing those immaculate, wonderful ADHD encapsulating lights. Yes. I take the plunge. No. Oh. Thank God you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? Yes. Stanley, please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Not stop it. Stanley, let's go <laughs> keep back going. To the you gotta keep going a couple more times. You get one chance to go back to the <laughs> You're <laughs> limping. <laughs> Fine. Yes. Oh, they're pink now. Ooh. That was nice. I want to see if it does the multicolor thing again. No. Seems like it does. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm glad we came back to this room. Yeah. Alright, well that was fun. Oh, there it is! Oh, okay, uh, that was delayed. There we go. Really glad we came back to this room. Yes. Alright, now we can die. I think you have to jump off. 
two more times. Makes sense. Okay, so we can survive four of these. Yeah. Can't survive one little drop from the freaking lift. Oh, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? No, not at all. And this isn't you gotta go fa you have to feel bad for the narrator. Just gonna sit here. Don't you? One more. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Well, now I feel bad. You got to. Now I genuinely feel bad. Yeah. This one makes you feel like garbage. <laughs> it's called the garbage ending. What is it called? The trash human ending. <laughs> How do you know? It is called Zending. Look, narrator. We've had our grievances. Yeah. And as I'm standing on this platform, I realize. Your happiness is just as important as mine. Yeah. However, completion. That's the sad thing. It's called zending. It should be called depression. <laughs> so there's two more endings, and we have to take the lift for both of them. Okay. And then we'll get onto the new content. I know that'll make you happy. I know that'll make them happy. But I'm a completionist here. <laughs> and here it was, at the lounge. What a room, Stanley thought to himself. What a room, what a room, what a room. This is what Stanley thought. What a room. What a room, what a room. What a room. Is this the dialogue you wanted? What a room. What a room. All right, cool. That's the stellar content you were asking. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Sure. Yeah, totally. 100%. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't... Right, let's take the lift this time. All the way. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not sure if you're really unknown. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else is difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Go ahead, brother. Who's her? Go ahead. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Just got to go into that dark spooky room. That's her standing. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. It's apartment four two seven. Oh, Sam, is that you? Hold on, I'm sorry to be waiting. I just want the bed out of the oven. Oh, sorry. Okay, there we go. All right, now I want you to come in and tell me all about it. You do. You should leave. Show him how angry you are. Don't go inside. Leave. Sorry, but you're in my story. Uh... Sorry, I had to do that to you. <laughs> Jerk. This is a very 
sad story about the death of a man named Stan. Wait, what? Good morning, employee 427. Press Y on your control. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Please press X. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Please press A. While he's talking to my friends. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Please press B to watch the TV. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, Everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Please press Y to spend time with the boys. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to be. Please press A to prepare dinner. We're having pizza. Prepare dinner. Prepare dinner. He wandered through this fantasy world. He began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line weaved in many directions. And down another was a game of a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. This is all in his mind. Please press up on the D-pad to tell your kids a story. Let me tell you about the story about the guy in my head. It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, must not there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Please press up on the D-pad. Tell your wife that you love her. Apparently I don't have one. Tell her anyway. I love you. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the new one. Press A to go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell you this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer. But as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Please press A to be at work in the morning. little spoiler for you. Nothing happens. You have to hit it. Dang it! <laughs> I was waiting. I'm like, you know what? Sorry. I will break. I will listen. Me I watched, as a narrator will get out of this. I watched someone wait there for five to ten minutes and nothing happened. You have to hit it. Can you just not hit me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's elected to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Give me an error. Let's press right on the D-pad to question nothing. Left. It just really tried here. I'm questioning everything! I suppose I can't, not in the way I want him to. Now I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. You're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time we'll see.
There you go. That's an ending. <laughs> yeah. The right is a lot more dangerous. Shut up, jerk. Can't <laughs> still upset with you after last time. <laughs> She's waiting for you. <laughs> Room, it was okay. No, I need more. <laughs> I know you're gonna say something. I don't think it's. I think it's over. She's been waiting. Has she? So just don't, don't pick it up. See what else you can do in here. There's a door. You can't leave. It is. It is in this room. Alright, so there's cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That has nothing to do with it. Wait. Yeah, there you go. Just figure out how to crouch him. Estelle picked up the phone. A white light engulfed him, filling him not just with brilliance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one. Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Yeah. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. It's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect observation. <laughs> How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How have I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? That too. Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this conversation <laughs> video. Choice. It's the best part of being a They're joking. Oh no. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. At no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a bad sack and crack. My goodness, it's 4.30. I need back second crack. Correct. Excellent. Oh, you're just, Making yeah. choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. Yeah. But not to worry. Now that you're probably informed... Alright, so now you know how to make good decisions. ...we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. Mm -hmm. This way, please. If you give me another phone, I'm unplugging it. Gotta go back the, the way oh. you came. 
So let me just give you a little synopsis about, about what's that happens. Is a meaningful. We can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. <laughs> yeah, full of guardians. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Of course. Fortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. I love them. So you're going to be led back to the two doors choice. And you're going to pick the right door. Not, not as incorrect. Don't take the door on the left. Back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free. Because I think there is dialogue if you take the left door, but it's the same endings. You're going to walk out and take that same door. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. Alright, you got that? Choosing responsibly and always, always put the story first. I'm not yeah. sure you'll be up to the task. Yes. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Right, right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Perfect! No! Perhaps we're not too late. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try this again. Let me read up on this. Let's see. But I want you to watch the differences that happen due to this. Oh, never mind. My story. You, you had to go through my door. work. Why? For what? What did you get out of what that? What did you get out of that? What do you think was so <laughs> special about seeing the game undone? <laughs> Do I have so much garbage? It, well, I think it's worth this now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. But I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. You must. I have to. I've never seen this ending, so this is shocking for me. Do we go through the left now? What? I'm so confused. Um, I think you have to take the left. And we've gotten so far, I don't want to mess this up. Okay, let's see. So, cut off, sun restarting the game, standing reports in front of the two doors. From, uh, taking the left door will allow the game to proceed as normal with a couple things. The player can't do so. Da -da 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 -da. 
In the end, after going through both doors at least once. So we have to go through the left door. I guess. If not, we already technically got an ending. This is what I wanted you to see. Notice how things are going to be different. Not here. So the game is going to be normal. With a couple changes. You'll see in a minute. So basically I have to play the game like normal. Yeah. I remember you. But I've already ruined this guy's life. Hey, look. And also, you didn't notice, every time you walk by the broom closet in the original, it opens for you. It didn't. Oh. He's making sure you cannot ruin his story anymore. He's eliminating choice. Yes. Oh, this is new. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication. Wait, manager? It's usually the boss. Shot, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. You need to hit A or something, maybe. Please speak clearly into <clears throat> your scene. Stanley spoke the code. Night Ow. 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. I'm sorry, is there a problem? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't mishear me, did you? No. Please. Into the receiver. How do you do it? The story. This is a crucial step. Then help me out with it. Make it a passcode. <laughs> the player can't do so because Stanley is silent and the game does not include access to microphone. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you are better We can't speak! I am mute! I'm a mute! I thought we needed like a Xbox mic or something. I was like, oh, seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You. You're having an automatic experience. Look down. This is the ending. The end. That's crazy. So, I know we always do these rankings at the end of the series, but this was the original. Yeah, so how that. would you rank the original Stanley Parable? Not worth the twenty four ninety nine, but I know there's extra. So yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd say, say I'd say this is fifteen. Like ten, like ten, fifteen, no more than twenty though. Yeah, I was about to say I think it was fifteen or twenty bucks back in the day. It was not twenty. It it, it, it was good. I liked it. Um, I like how I honestly thought that last one we needed like a mic. I thought we did too. I was about to freak out. I was like, oh gosh, we're screwed. But overall, I I loved it. I thought it was hilarious. Um, Love the narrator. He's without the, the narrator, this game was not. It just can't exist. And I think that's kind of one thing that the game is trying to tell you, that with all these different choices, you can, you can kind of do whatever you want, but each choice, every choice, good or bad, is going to have a consequence. Yeah. And that's kind of parallel to real life. Oh, yeah. So I, I like that. I think it's really, it, like, very... Don't speak yet. Uh, it's, it's very... I, I like it. It's very cool to me, personally. But that's also because I'm a psych major. I'd give this a solid 
8 out of 10. I give it a 9 out of 10. I think the narrator is hilarious. Love the choice. I'm all about choice. All about, you know, what ifs, hypotheticals. I love, you know, different parables and lessons and stuff, and I love what the game does. Like, here's a little documentary on the impact of choice! Okay, That's hilarious. Trust. Go forward. His, pun his punishments were kind of funny, where, like, when we sped through, it's like, <laughs> probably from anxiety. Yeah. Here, have some jazz. That, I love it. I love the tidbits. So, All is right. it over? Because there's floor, there's paper everywhere. I just want to see if we go to the two doors if anything changes. If not, we'll end the episode. If so, maybe because we got all the endings, maybe that's what this is about. I think that's because we got all the endings. Oh, it ends here. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So that's it. Okay. For old time's sake. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time where we get into the new content. See you then. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Peace.